Hey everybody, it's Bubs here. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I am picking off exactly where I left. Picking off. I am picking up exactly where I left off, uh, learning the Levioso spell. And I am still enjoying my butterbeer. It's very full, so I have to use two hands to lift it up. Uh, recipe is up there on the screen. It is a um, sweeter drink, but it's quite nice. Uh, so give it a try, and you can even blend it on ice if you want. I prefer um, the uh, like liquid version, I guess, the chilled version. I don't know what you call it. But anyway, um, I'm just going to move my mouse out of the way here. I still have to change my settings. I haven't done that yet, but I can't get into the menu right now. So we're going to learn the spell get to the menu where I can change my settings a little bit and um, continue on the adventure. So with that, cheers and let's go. Oh, it's coming for me. Levioso. Levioso. I love your saw. Now, let's try something a little larger. Hmm. Let us begin with a basic cast. Was that intended? See how the dummy deflected your cast. Then this time, for take off. cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak. Good. Got it. Now, well done. Got it. Got it. Got it. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh, God. Levioso. This should be easy. Protego. You're good. How perceptive. Oh, it's, it's Thank you. It's refilling. Oh, I wasn't allowed to use this. How was I? This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. So I wasn't allowed to use that basic cast, okay? Oh, I won! I thought I had to like his health. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Damn Points right. to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hecate. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Mm -hmm. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is just me. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. There's a lot of Slytherins in this class. Revelio. Revelio. Hmm. I don't recall the dragon having uh, horns. I'll be honest. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Oh. Mm. Uh. I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Okay. 
spoken like a true Hufflepuff. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thanks. Kind of a big deal. I don't know if you know. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, I got perhaps secrets. this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Go on. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. I mean, the professor if you said I should the practice most whenever I get a chance. Your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. I still gotta get to, uh... Hogsmeade. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Wow. Rude. Okay, where am I going? Up? How do I go up? Oh, I've already forgotten how to navigate this place. Okay, side quests are available. Gotta go to charms class. I gotta, I gotta do the important things first. But like, no, should I go talk to Brat Prattleby first? Maybe I should. Also, I think I'm supposed to collect things from here, right? Got an outfit. Oh. Got some glasses. Settings, let's do this. Ah, no, I'll do it later. I'm not gonna make you watch me play around with my settings for collections. No, okay, I don't care about that. Um, quests. Look, Anna. Okay, let's go. I can't just break out the window. Yeah, definitely still crashing my computer a little bit. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. I <sighs> okay, maybe I will mess with my settings right now. I'm gonna go find Lucian Brattleby. Made the mistake of leaving my potion somewhere in the Wait, oh. I have no idea where I'm going. I am not using my map effectively. Okay, wow. Talk about taking a taking your sweet time. Oh, I 
I've been here before. I'm an idiot. Haunted toilets. Not for the mink. I guess that's peeves. These peeves will make me late. He tried to stop me, did right. Oh, these are the non-haunted toilets, the I see. The regular the toilets. But he failed us, did his containment charms. So I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed. Is anybody listening to that? Oh. What's that? that button? Hmm. Hmm. These ghosts fighting again. Fight a lot. It. Lucan's just over there. I'm not sure what I did to deserve that. Okay, hold on, hold on. There's something here. I can see it. It's sparkling blue. Lumos. Um, feather? Yeah. Yikes. What's up? Ah. Got my little book here. Got some Wigan Wild Potion. Crashing a little bit again, even after I fix the settings. Can I help you? Well, you're Can like a kid. You? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. Oof. I coordinated duels rough. crossed once. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Oh, it's then so bad. To the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Oh uh, yeah. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Hmm. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Here's hoping I don't die. Oh no! We'll make you regret signing up. I'm like. 
lagging out. How am I going to do this? Break through yellow shields with control spells. Target lock lets you try while aiming. Use R to change targets while aiming. And then holding Y. Yeah, dummy. The story is gonna get it. Ooh. Yo, this guy's got way better than magic to me. He's doing some sort of fire stuff. Oops. Yo, he just exploded that kid. Did you see that? Glad I didn't bet on that round. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for Looks you. That's weird. Again, congratulations on your first cross arms victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Ooh, okay. Oh, the clock is clocking. Okay. So, and I gotta go charm plus? What's up? I feel sorry for your next opponent. Should. Just wait till I've grown a bit. Then we'll see how Just well kick you these do. these kids' butts. Okay, let's go to charms class, shall we? Which I think is what I have marked in my... Yeah. We're going to charms class. Let's do it. Oh, I can change my outfits, though. What? Hmm. Nope. I've got a fancy chapeau. Oh. Okay. Lame. Wait, what was that other menu though? I'm still learning, sorry. Collection oh it's the collections again. I don't get it. Okay. I thought I already very strange. Very strange interactions. Okay. Back to what we were doing. Let's check if this has got any magic for us. Nope. Hair looks more blue than green. I had to change that up. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him. <laughs> Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. I guess he didn't enjoy that. Okay. All of my siblings have gone on to work for the ministry. But I'm not sure I want to do that. Scared that. Me. I'm in charms class. Here, behind. 
find you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms. One changes color, one Anyone? makes you bigger and smaller. Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 uh. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic Summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed in the partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Hmm. Yep. All right, I forgot to push the button again. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Yeah. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Going outside. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning Excellent control. Oh, stay focused. Oh, it rolls. My bad. That's it. Mm hmm. Oh, shit, I can't see it. Splendid. <gasps> oh, ho -ho. very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Be sharp. Oh wow, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Why'd it go so fast? Not to worry. It went so fast. Can I knock hers off? That is how it's done. <laughs> is that allowed? I don't know. I feel like mine goes super fast. I don't like it. Can't win. I can't win. Oh, no. Nope. It's not working. Nicely done. Well, now that I know. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What did he do? Moving boxes, you say? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Day enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. This lady's a hacker. Whew. Hmm. After this guy moves, we're gonna do it. I know that he wants to but try not to be nervous. What a jerk! It happens to the best. <sighs> An angle. It's only to teach me how to do that. There we go. Oh, they're heavy, eh? Excellent control there. I just gave her Please more stop. points. Easy on you now. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, so my Akio is, isn't quite good good enough. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. Yeah. To put it lightly. I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. Oh, that's cool. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. 
festival. I remember the first time I, I saw there. it. The mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. Can I transfer? And then it just materialized before me. This enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. That's Not pretty to cool. mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Really? Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. Yeah. You know it won't work on humans. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak Akio to me, clothing. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary mm. curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment Ooh. that I am preparing for you. Let's go on. Right here. Finish charms class. Oh yeah. Locked. I need to learn the unlock spell. But for now, that wraps up another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, until next time, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you then. Cheers.